passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Meanwhile, Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Yes, it is as you say, Jesus replied. When he was accused by the chief priest and the teachers of the law, he gave no answer. Then Pilate asked him, Don't you hear the testimony they are bringing against you? But Jesus made no reply, not even to a single charge, to the great amazement of the governor. Now, it was the governor's custom at the feast to release a prisoner chosen by the crowds. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when the crowds had gathered, Pilate asked them, which of the two do you want me to release to you? Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew it was out of envy that they had handed Jesus over to him. While Pilate was sitting on the judge's seat, his wife sent him this message. Do not have anything to do with that innocent man for I have suffered a great deal today in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and the teachers of the law persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus executed. Which of the two do you want me to release to you? Pilate asked. Barabbas, they answered. What shall I do then with Jesus, who is called Christ, he asked. They all answered, Crucify him! Why, what crime has he committed, asked Pilate. But they shouted all the louder, Crucify him! When Pilate realized he was getting nowhere, but that instead an uproar was starting, he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowds. I am innocent, this man's blood. It is your responsibility. All the people answered, Let his blood be on us and on our children. Then Pilate released Barabbas to them. But he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the praetorium and gathered a whole company of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. Then they twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff in his right hand and knelt in front of him and mocked him. Hail, king of the Jews, they said. Then they spit on him and took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. After they had knocked him, they took the robe off of him and put his own clothes on him and then led him away to be crucified. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon and they forced him to carry the cross. Then they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall. But after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among them by casting lots. And sitting down, 
They kept watch over him there. Above his head they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two robbers were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, and shaking their heads, they said, You who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the elders, and the teachers of the law mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he cannot save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross and we will believe him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. In the same way, the two robbers who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. From the sixth hour to the ninth hour, darkness came over the land. At about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli! Eli! Lama sabachthani! Which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing nearby heard this, they said, He's calling Elijah. Immediately one of them ran and got a sponge. He filled it with wine vinegar, put it on a stick, and offered it to Jesus to drink. Then the rest said, Now leave him alone. But see if Elijah comes to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his...